And here we go, my very first YouTube video. Today's video is going to be my review of Ari Aster's short film basically from 2014. This short film quickly showcases a young actress named Shandy and her privileged life through an interview-like style. Now right off the bat, on paper, this short film doesn't necessarily have much substance as it is only 15 minutes long, but at the same time it really does and where it really thrives at is its dialogue from Shandy who is played by Rachel Brosnan. She gives a great performance and I really admired watching her work. At first I didn't like her character. She is uh, privileged and snobby and kind of seems like an idiot but as, as it went on and the film progressed and the topics of discussion got heavier you find out that this character does have a deeper layer and that she's actually a person and when when I say that these topics got heavier they got pretty heavy and very deeply philosophical as Mary Oster always is all the way from family problems and sex and questioning if God is even real I'm not gonna get too much into the topics of discussion because that's kind of the meat and the only substance of the short film in its entirety so that kind of works as a spoiler alert so I'm not going to really talk about that but what I will talk about is um, the artistic and, and the uh, cinematography of this short film even though it's a very simple plot with when I say it's literally her just looking at a camera talking it's it's basically that's all it is but what keeps me compelled to watch was this the dialogue and the increasingness and heaviness of the of the topics and discussion that she's talking about and the changing backgrounds she goes from a beach house party to her smoking a cigarette on the on the beach to her sneaking out in her room to her passing out at a party it's 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 really keeps you compelled to watch and it's a little out there just as Ari Aster always is but it's a great film to watch it means a lot and Ari Oster's work is always very deeply littered with symbolism and the only thing that I could take away from this was that it's kind of a um, symbolizes equality from human to human and no matter the financial status and social status everybody's a victim to life's problems like money and greed and lust and grief and even questioning a higher being. It was a good film by Aster, and I'm giving it an 8 out of a 10. And that does seem high, but I'm judging off of what it was, and it was only 15 minutes. So from what it was, it was a great film. And if you want to watch it, I'm going to leave a link in the description and check it out. That's going to wrap up my first video. Short, but yes, it is a start. Choppy, yes, I assume. Cringy, I assume. Yes, but it's a start. I do plan on doing a review over every one of Ari Aster's short films. He think he has like four or six maybe. And then I'm going to do the two major motion films like Hereditary and Midsummer. See ya.